Now we come to the part where we configure taxes. Charging taxes is a crucial part of setting up your store. The government has no sense of humor about being underpaid or overcharging your customer. So it's important to take time to find out what's required in your country or state or region and make sure your store is set up correctly. It used to be a lot more simple. If a purchase was made from a state in which your company had a physical presence, you would charge sales tax. If your company had no physical presence in the state that the customer was in, then you didn't have to charge sales tax. It was pretty easy, and in most cases in the U.S., it's still that way. But it is getting more complicated. In some states and regions, such as Europe, it's not simple anymore. This situation is only likely to become more complicated as time goes on. The cart system we are using provides both a very robust local tax system that will cover most bases, but even the most sophisticated built-in tax system will have a hard time keeping up with all the changes we're likely to see in the coming years. So the answer to this problem is third-party tax providers. To deal with the changing landscape, there are a number of third-party providers that can offload the task to handle calculating your tax much in the same way that payment gateways and shippers are handled. Fortunately, Cartweaver supports this system. Depending on the tax requirements of your location, you should be sure to check for this support no matter what cart solution you choose to use. Okay, so let's take a look at configuring our taxes. Go ahead and click on Shipping and Tax tab again. First of all, let's go down to Tax Settings. Now we've been to this page before, but there's a couple of things we need to look at. First of all, we'll look at the tax label. This is simply the label that's displayed on the front end. In this case, it says tax. But if we are in Europe, we'd want to change this to VAT. So you'd want to change this to what's good for your region. Right now, we'll just leave that tax. Another thing to look at is the tax system. There's groups and general. General is the simplest tax system. It simply charges tax based on state. So if you're in, for example, California, and you want to charge a state tax for California, you would just enter that information, and that's all there is to it. Groups is more complex, and we'll get into that in a minute. The next field is local database, which is the local self-contained tax system that we'll be looking at here in a minute. But the dropdown available here is also TaxCloud. Now, what TaxCloud is, is it's a third-party vendor that works much the same way as a payment gateway or a shipper does. In this case, it passes the information out to this third party. They calculate your tax based on a much more complex tax matrix that's constantly updated based on what the states are doing. As things get more complicated, this type of system is going to be more and more important. So it's a good thing that it's supported. If you do select that, make sure these bottom fields where it says Tax Cloud APIs, that you enter the information that Tax Cloud provides for you here. That's your authorization for the transactions to go through their system. So if you're going to integrate with Tax Cloud, that's how you would do it. But right now, we'll leave it to local database. And we'll also leave it to groups. And let's go back to ship tax again. One thing I'd like to show you. Here's several menu items for taxes. Now, when we go back to store settings and tax settings, let's go ahead and change this to general, and you'll see what happens. Scroll down and update that. Now, let's go to shipping and tax. And you'll notice there's some tax settings missing. That's because those settings have nothing to do with a general tax system. Basically, what you do for a general tax system is you go up to shipping and tax extensions, click on that, and you'll see the various states listed here. And for other countries, it would be regions. And let's say you're in Georgia. You would enter what your sales tax is for that state. So any state that you have a physical presence in, you can go through this system and add your state sales tax. And then the system will automatically calculate and add that tax onto orders shipped into those states. And that's how the general tax system works. It's very straightforward and simple. And fortunately, this system still works fine in most of the states of the United States and in some other regions. Now let's go back to store settings and to tax settings and change this to tax groups. Go ahead and update that. Now let's go to shipping and tax again. And you'll see that we have a couple more options here again. First of all, 